Hello everyone, this is Maria's Budgeting. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you are new. So today I have my week three check-in for the month of March. So today I will be checking in from Friday the 19th through Saturday the 27th. I will be using my usual, which is Romina Rosa's expense trackers as well as Planner Kate's no spend stickers. So I'll go ahead and put those to the side. My first expense is going to be a restaurant expense. And as always, my key is going to be on my phone. For those of you that are new, this is what I mean by that. All of the colors for my expense trackers are going to be on my phone. So my first expense was a restaurant expense, which is this color here. And what I bought was McDonald's. And that was $8. And that was on the 19th. I had to pause for a moment to put some lotion on because my hands are really dry. But on the 20th, I did get some gas. And again, gas prices are going up significantly. Um, they're almost $4. I haven't gotten gas since that day. Um, so it's been more than a week, but maybe I already surpassed the $4 mark, but yeah, gas prices are going up a lot. So usually I would fill up my gas tank with $30, but this time I filled it up with $40 and I went to my usual, which is Chevron. Thought I had put my phone on, yep, it is on do not disturb and on silent. I'm not sure why it's vibrating, but I'm also having trouble with my phone. Um, I can't make calls and I can't receive calls. I answer calls and I can make calls, but I can't hear anything and they can't hear me as well. So I actually am going to be sent a replacement. So I'm not sure if I have to pay for that, but I am going to get the replacement and then I think next month I am actually going to switch over to Verizon and then I will just give my current phone probably to my mom if if she wants it. If not, maybe somebody will buy it. I'm not really sure though because it's a iPhone 7 Plus. I'm not sure if anybody will like that phone, but I will see what I can do. So I do apologize for my phone vibrating, but like I told you guys, I am not sure what's going on because it is on silent and... It's on Do Not Disturb and on silent, so it's not supposed to be ringing. Or at least that's what I think. I don't think it's supposed to be ringing even though I have it unlocked. But I could be wrong. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry about the rambling. But on the 21st, I had a sinking funds expense, which was for Ulta. I ended up buying my mom the face wash that she uses since it was on sale that day. So it was $14, and that is going to be part of her birthday gift and that was all for the 22nd <clears throat> on the 23rd I used my sinking fund again and that was for business and it was for the giveaway price which we are actually going to announce the winner today I'm so sorry that we're so late but um, on that day, on the 23rd, wait, why did I skip something? Oh, the 22nd was a no spend day. I'll go right back to that. But on the 23rd, I did deposit that money to my bank account. And then on the 22nd, it was a no spend. So I'm going to grab that sticker. And... I'm really hopeful that we will actually reach the $15, sorry, not $15, the 15 no spend days this month. I think that we will be able to do that this month. And on the 23rd, I made another restaurants transaction and that was for Costco pizza. And that was a total of $22 from my restaurant's envelope. Mm. 
usually on Tuesdays my sister my boyfriend and myself we go to my sister's best friend's house so that day we decided to eat some pizza on the 24th it was a no spend I have a couple of no spend days this week actually so I'm super excited on the 25th I used my dates envelope and that was for Taco Bell And that was a total of $12. On the 26th, it was a no spend day. On the... 27th it was a no spend day and that is all for this week's check-in but let's see how many no spend days we have this week so we had one two three and four and in total we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so we have eleven no spend days meaning that we need four more and <laughs> Oh gosh, there's literally one, two, three, four days in the month, left in the month. And I am not sure that I will actually be able to reach that goal because I am thinking about, I have to get gas probably tomorrow or on Tuesday and I might go grocery shopping. So unfortunately it is looking like I will not reach that goal, but we were so, so close that I'm really proud of myself actually so i think that's what counts i mean it's progress because previous months i hadn't been this close so i'm happy about that but we'll see in my next weekly check-in we will find out if i did reach the goal or not but even if i don't it is okay i'm still proud of myself for my progress i will now move on to my weekly check-in and I actually have to write down my what I added to my envelopes so I will be right back because I have to get those totals so right here I have what I added to my cash envelopes so I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of this and go back to my weekly check-in so I can go ahead and write those numbers down and this money that I had remaining last week, I actually put it in my rollover envelope. So I'm not going to add the remaining plus what I added. No, it's only going to be what I added last week. So dates was $50. Then fun, we added $25. Gas got a total of $80. Groceries got $50. Miscellaneous got 10, restaurants got 35, spending got $10, and unbudgeted doesn't get anything. So now we're just going to go back and forth to our weekly check-in spread to see how much we have spent throughout the week. So I think I will move this over here so I can go ahead and flip back and forth. So dates is the first one. And I will go ahead and pull out my calculator and dates. We have $12 here and that is it. So it was only $12 that I spent from dates. So if I have 50 minus 12, that means that I should have $38 remaining. Then for fun, we didn't spend anything for fun, so we should have $25 remaining. For gas, I did pump gas once, which was Chevron for 30, sorry, for 40. So I spent 40 and I started with 80, so that means that we have $40 remaining. For groceries, we didn't spend anything and we should have the $50. Miscellaneous, we haven't spent anything, so we have 
restaurants we did spend. So let me bring out my calculator. So we have $8 for McDonald's and $22 for pizza. So that is a total of $30. And if I go back, I started with 35. So 35, that means that we have $5 remaining. And for spending, we didn't spend anything. So we should have 10. And for unbudgeted, we didn't spend anything. We didn't have anything. Obviously nothing remaining because we don't budget for it. Um, so the only, sorry about the helicopter that's flying by, but the only things that I have to check off are my sinking fund expenses, which I will go ahead and track them later on. I am going to move this, place this over here now, and I will go ahead and bring out my wallet. I'm going to bring out my dividers, and we are going to go ahead and check in to make sure that we have the correct amount in all of my dividers. So I have my dividers, I will go ahead and check in. So for dates, we should have $38. We have 20, 35, 36, 37, 38. For fun, I should have 25, 25. For gas, we should have $40. 20 and 40 which gas I know that I will have to use pretty really soon groceries we should have 50 20 40 50 miscellaneous miscellaneous stays in my wallet since I don't have a divider for it so it is right here Restaurants is next, and it should have five dollars, and it does have five dollars. And last but not least, is spending, and spending should have ten, and it does have ten dollars. So that is all for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.